Today I would like to invite you to walk together through the Jasmine National Park on the German island of Rügen. We spent a few days on the island and this walk was one of the highlights of our trip. We started our way from the parking lot located slightly removed from the shore. That's why the first part of our journey was going through the forest. And it's a magnificent one, I must say. The ancient beech forests here are centuries old. In 2011, the UNESCO declared the Jasmine National Park a World Heritage Site. The park is also famous for its stunning chalk cliffs, which rise 118 meters above the sea. You will see some of them in the second part of the video. If you are planning to visit this national park or go for a hike in general, I have a few handy tips. First one, check the weather. On the coast, the weather can change rapidly. Prepare yourself with a few extra layers that would cover wind and rain. Second one, wear suitable shoes. The trails can be steep, muddy and slippery, especially after a heavy rain. If you decide to go over the coast, there are a lot of rocks that might not be very comfortable to walk on if the soles of your shoes are too soft, or it might even destroy your shoes. I can't recommend hiking boots enough. I've had mine for two years and they've been incredible on every hike. The comfort and support they offer make a huge difference, especially on the long trails. Plus, they're so well made that I even use them as winter boots sometimes. I wish my usual everyday shoes would be made with such quality in mind. Go for comfy hiking boots with a good grip. You won't regret that investment. The third one. Get some snacks and water with you. It's always a good idea to carry, as I call it, an emergency kit. Nuts, bars, or at least some gummy bears. The same goes for water. It's better to be safe than sorry. There are not so many places where you can get them during the hike without getting out of the park. Number four, plan your route before going to a hike to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. Check the trail conditions, distance, elevation, and potential hazards to be fully prepared for any challenges along the path. Apps like Kamut and Old Trails are fantastic tools for this. They offer detailed maps, reviews of different parts of the trail, insights into trail difficulty, and highlight scenic points you wouldn't want to miss. 5. Wear a hat, and after you're back from the hike to the hotel or holiday house that you're staying in, check yourself for the ticks. The earlier you catch them, the better. These were all my tips for today. Enjoy the rest of the walk, and I'll see you in the next video.